there's a picture of a drag queen shoving their chest into a child's face. And uh, we just, you know, try and move away from that one because I don't think we can actually show that. What bothers me is that Ron DeSantis only is taking away their liquor license. So the response is, if you host a sex show where you invite children, we'll take away your ability to sell beer. Well, don't, you, don't you think that he's kind of baiting them? I think, okay, you take their liquor license, you dare them to do it again. And the second time you send the SWAT team, you frog march them out in chains Why and the you second? alert the media. Why the second time? Because the government never wants to jump in the first time with everything. They never throw everything at it the first time. I remember a story about a guy who put grow lights in an empty house and then a bunch of, I was a DEA agents, stormed into the building only to find nothing was in it. And he was live streaming a sting operation. And his point was that they were going to come in with no warrant right. to a house that did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Yet right now we're supposed to cheer for Ron DeSantis and he's like, ha. I took away their liquor license. Now, when they have sex shows for children, they'll have to be sober. Am I supposed to be happy about that? I'll take I baby guess a steps. little bit. I'll take baby steps rather than no steps. We've done nothing sure. up to this point. You I'll know, we haven't even stopped them from doing anything. So at least this take away their revenue stream. You're costing them money, right? And and if it's the if the threat is the next time they will get cuffed and stuffed, I'd like to see I doubt it. it. Someone's this. Gonna, this okay, is the we'll over. See. This is the Overton window being shifted. First, they do literal nothing. Then people complain and they say, we'll take away their liquor license. They can still operate. They can still sell, uh, um, you know, shows at their, at their event center. Mm -hmm. They can still have people come into the, uh, you know, the, the restaurant, order food. You can still rent rooms at the Hyatt. No worries. Okay. I'm, then I'm, I'm shouting out right now to my friends in Miami who know the DeSantis crew. Let's send in a SWAT team. Why, why should the Hyatt Regency be concerned about their liquor license when their principal business is selling hotel rooms? But if they operate a food and beverage business, liquor tends to be one of that's the highest. That's the high margin. High that's margin. So. I mean, I think what's happening is they're trying that's to like, scare the Hyatt Regency into not accepting a contract from this group anymore. And that'll just send them to another venue, <clears throat> which then I guess will continue to chase them. It doesn't seem like the most guys, effective strategy to stopping this. You guys know that we, we, we've been to Congress now a couple times. They have a subway. In the, uh, which building were we in? I don't know. There's a subway. Imagine if a member of Congress did something illegal. So they went and said, we're not going to let that subway operate anymore. <laughs> I'll show these corrupt members of Congress. They're going to be like, okay, I'll go across the street to get subway. So if you're staying at the Hyatt Regency, you just get drunk across the street. You rent your room. Their principal business is completely unaffected. I got to say, look, I, I get it. Some action is good to try and stop hmm. the, the Overton window shift that's allowing this, this grooming that's happening. But all they're really doing, it seems to me, is throwing red meat at people who are upset about this and then saying, cheer for the nothing that I have done. I have done nothing at all to stop this. Quite nothing. I have hurt the bottom line of one height location by 7%. If that, I'm willing to bet alcohol comprises a fraction of a percentage of their revenue. They don't care. The right does nothing. Yeah, there you go. Period. They never do. They they do. Uh, it's all for show. They don't. They are just as you know, just as interested in virtue signaling as anyone else. Um, if this is considered <clears throat> action, then the left has nothing to fear from the right. Agreed. I just want to know more about Murray and Peter who presented the drag queen Christmas. Like I, I want to know what the production company is doing because they're probably operating. I mean, typically hotels bid for contracts and then whichever one works out a, a deal with the organization that wants to book the space, you know, moves forward with contracts. So who else considered, who else tried to get this drag queen show? If we can't have it at the Hyatt, where is it going now? I think that's what bothers me the most. Like, yes, it's not enough of an action from DeSantis, but partially because it keeps the head on the snake. We're not really stopping it from just migrating somewhere else all across town. Let's get citizens given tips for every drag show coming up and dare DeSantis not to react to the next one. Yeah. You know, I don't care if adults want to have a drag show. If they want to do burlesque, if they <laughs> want to do go-go dancing, if they want scantily clad men and women standing, you know, swinging around on poles, that's fine. Just no kids. If the right wants okay. to do something about it, they should be putting the performers that are that are performing for children in jail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ron DeSantis, if that's you really it. believed these people, if you really thought this was true, would be he'd have the DA issue arrest warrants for these individuals. Mm -hmm. And upon their return to the state for any reason, they would immediately be arrested.